we have an infinite sum and the question is does the sum converge or diverge so you can see it's an alternating series because because we have the negative one to the m plus one however whenever you're trying to determine whether a series converges or diverges you should always try the nth term test the nth term test says if you take the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity and it's not equal to zero so if this happens then we say the series diverges. This is the first test you should always try whenever you're determining convergence or divergence. So in this particular case, when we take the limit as n goes to infinity of negative 1 to the m plus 1 times n over 3n plus 2, well, let's think about this limit. The piece here that's circled in purple is a, a polynomial over a polynomial. So as n goes to infinity, it's going to approach 1 over 3. It's always the ratio of the leading coefficients. However, this piece here is oscillating back and forth. So this limit in general will not exist. So in this case, that means it's not equal to 0. So the series diverges by the nth term test. So whenever you're testing for convergence or divergence, always just take the limit of a sub n. If the result is not 0, the series diverges. If the result is 0, then you have to try something else. I hope this was helpful.